my life before Canada, I was working for the corporate world. Um, I had most of my childhood was out of India because my dad was a diplomat, but he retired and we moved into India. Um, I did my higher education there and uh, then started working in the corporate world. One fine day, my wife and I were sitting in the evening and we were talking and uh, I told her if there was any place in the world you wanted to live, any place, there's no boundaries, no restrictions, what are the places we would like to live? And we sat down and we, and we started talking about it and we decided that it should be the developed world and uh, we would like to be in a country that speaks English. So we uh, selected a few countries, UK, USA, Australia and Canada and then we did our research and because I had spent a few years here uh, as a teenager, uh, we decided on Canada. The first few days were like uh, a fairy tale. I was suddenly here, um, I, felt, I felt free uh, in the sense that I didn't have to go to work, I, uh, I was in a new place, it was all about discovery and I was going all over the place learning about different things. So it was very wonderful because it was like, it's like a long weekend. And uh, so I enjoyed myself in the beginning and then soon reality hit. You know, whatever you've done back at home, uh, you, nobody knows who you are, right? So you have to come here and build a brand for yourself. And so I sat down uh, after obviously taking a little break and enjoying what life had to offer. I sat down and I had to do a big rethink in terms of, okay, how do I take things going forward? In 2011, I was awarded the Top 25 Canadian Immigrants Award, and that came about two and a half years after I came into the country. I put that to the fact that I dedicated a lot of my time in volunteering out and in giving back to newcomers. So I opened several groups using LinkedIn, using Google, um, where I would reach out and create platforms where people could help each other. So get in front and attend, be there, okay? And it's not just for happen, it's for any forum that you go to. The second thing is, if there's opportunity to volunteer, put your hand up. What does the award mean to me? It actually means to me something very big. It's not just personal to me. It is saying something to the rest of the newcomers that come to Canada. You don't have to wait for 10 years, 15 years to get an award or to be somebody important here. In two to three years, you can actually achieve this. So as a, as a newcomer coming to, to Canada and to Toronto, what struck me as um, unexpected was the warmth and friendliness of the people. The initial days, you were a bit scared because you saw people from so many different nationalities. But as soon as you got your confidence, you started speaking to them, you found that they were all so very helpful. What are the main criteria that we're looking for? An advice that I'd like to share with fellow immigrants and newcomers coming to Canada is that when we were thinking of coming to Canada, it was one big dream for us. But uh, when you come here, you suddenly realize, oh, where's that dream? But honestly, coming to Canada is not achieving that dream. You have to, that's only chapter one in that book. The same kind of effort and the same kind of energy you put into coming to Canada, you have to devote to Canada once you're here. Now, some people take three years, some people take five, and some people take 10 years to realize that dream, but you will. If you work hard and you persevere, one day you will look back and be happy you made this decision. Cheers. Happy life.